electricity bill paid, water bill paid, Wi-Fi bill paid, mobile bill paid. Oh, oh hi guys. Hi guys, I'm Kasturi Sanup and I welcome all of you to this video. And I was actually paying my bills, my pending bills and I paid through Paytm. It is super, super simple. So yes, Payment Bank has made my life so easy and today in this video, let us discuss about Payment Banks. Let us find out what is the difference between Commercial Banks and Payment Banks. So let's get started. The first and a very important difference is that a payment bank has to have the name payment bank in its name. So yes, the payment bank has to use the words payment bank in its name to differentiate between a commercial bank. The second difference is that a payment bank can accept deposits like just like a commercial bank. So it can accept fixed deposits, it can open a savings account, it can even issue you debit cards and ATM cards. But there is one thing that a payment bank cannot do like a commercial bank and that is to give away loans. A payment bank is not authorized to loan anybody. Also, it cannot issue any credit cards. So if at all you're looking for funds, then a payment bank is not where you are going to go. The next difference is that a payment bank does not accept deposits from people who are not staying in India. So if you are an Indian citizen and if you're staying in India, then yes, a payment bank is going to accept your deposit. But if you are staying abroad, then a payment bank is not going to accept your deposit. So NRIs cannot deposit their funds in a payment bank. They have to have an NRI account which can be issued, which can be done only through a commercial bank. The next difference is that a payment bank cannot open subsidiaries to undertake few of the NBFC activities. However, with the approval of RBI, it can partner with few of the commercial banks and it can sell you mutual products, insurance policies, pension products and all these financial products. But it cannot have subsidiaries to undertake the NBFC activities. The next difference is related to an important regulation. Payment banks have to invest 75% of their demand deposits in the government securities or government bills which have maturity of more than a year or at least a year. The remaining 25% of, of the funds, yes, they can use it for the operational activities. But 75% they have to deposit with the government. So guys, these were the major differences between a payment bank and a commercial bank. What do you feel about payment banks? Post it in the comment section. See you.